Welcome back to Sailing Catalpa. This episode, we are getting hauled out of the water. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We are about to be hauled out in Cabrales boatyard. This is our first haul out with Catalpa 2. We were nervous and excited to see how her bottom looked out of the water. Alright, we're helping the haul. We're gonna lift it up and just go in a bit. So far, so good. The team here at Cabrales did an excellent job at lifting our boat out of the water. All right, guys, we are Next step was a wash down and to find a spot for Catalpa. First glance, everything was looking pretty good. The cutlass bearing is a problem that we were already aware of and that is why there is so much movement there. That's why the shark's wobbling. Bearing. It's real loose. Here we go, just trying to break everything while we're out of the water. <laughs> that, that could be a, a blister. Or could, could it just one. be the Annie found? It could be. Alright, here she is after she's had a pressure wash. They obviously didn't Annie found the whole boat <laughs> last time it was out. But Lee's found a few little um, bits of osmosis, but not much. Not no. much. We're pretty stoked. They've only just drying out now, so. We'll see. Um, we'll see what happens as she dries out. But at the moment, it just seems to be around where the air conditioner holes are. So where the water's got in behind there, I'm not sure. But um, very little at the moment. The hole's looking really good. Uh, I found a little bit of there, there, and maybe here. This little section here has a couple little bits. So that's all I've found over the whole. Lot. Oh, I really like the colour underneath. Green. Um. <laughs> I don't know what that is in inches, guys, but it looks like there's probably three mil play in that. So it's that got a wiggle. This bearing is pretty shot. Such a pretty colour. I love the Anifel colour. I hope our Anifel is that colour. Again. Anyway, there she is. She's out of the water. Woohoo! First time. First time for us and uh, tonight we are heading to a hotel because it's hot. We need a little break. We're getting off and the boat's got to get put somewhere until we get plugged in and everything. So we're going to go stay somewhere, edit some videos. Hey Belle? Yep. And then get to work. So this is the boat yard. We aren't in, a, in our spot yet, but there are lots of boats in there. And uh, we think where we're staying is pretty close. You think that? <laughs> you think? We... Here we are. 
Okay. Go home for a couple of days. Thanks, Sarge, for bringing my yoga mat, mate. You're welcome. We are hauled out on the hard sand and we were staying in a hotel last night. Dad and I came back because we were just in the swings and we were getting moved to our permanent spot. We have moved to our permanent spot, but now we're stuck up here. There is no ladder and we're waiting for someone to bring a ladder. So while we wait to be let off the boat, it is very hot. We don't have air con yet and I'm gonna make a cold drink. I'm gonna make a golden mud water. So it's like a turmeric -y, delicious drink. So I'm gonna show you how I make it because it's pretty good. Okay, we grab the mud water. Put a spoon of this in. Then we get some coconut milk. Pour this in. You can really use any milk, but I like coconut milk. For a little bit of a sweetness, some honey. Then my favourite part, buzzing it up. Now, to make it nice and cold, you just add the ice. Give it a little swirl. Now, taste test. Oh, so good. Now we just have to wait to get let off the boat. Okay, so Dad has finally gotten someone to come over and put the stairs at the boat. So we can head back to Mum and Taj now and have some food because it is like nearly two o'clock and we haven't eaten yet. <laughs> so yesterday we were, when we hauled out, we were just sitting in the sling and they were trying to find us a good spot to leave us as our permanent slot and I'm pretty sure this is it so yeah gonna head back to mum and Taj soak up some of that aircon and relaxing this before we have to get into some boat works we're walking back now and it is pretty hot it's actually not too hot the hottest place that we're at what was that place would be uh, I think it's 33 at the moment it's only 33 we were at a place the other day and it was like 50. What we're going to do, get a game plan together and um, yeah, it's looking good so far. Oh, there's the star of the show. There's Sarah laying on the floor. <laughs> Just out of thing, doing a thing. Oh, I'm getting there. Is the aircon on? She oh, thinks I'll get out there and do the hard boat works while she sits here in the aircon on the computer doing the easy work. We've checked out of our hotel. We're just trying to work out whether it's best just to put some money into buying an aircon for the boat, living on the boat. Welcome back to the boat yard. We'll have to figure it out. Oh, we found Lily's boat. I love the colour of our bottom paint. I hope that's the same. Maybe they we have noticed we do have a few more little, um, little bubbles, little bits of osmosis. Nothing too bad, but just real little ones. So we'll grind them out before they get to become a problem. Well, it's been a couple of days since we hauled out and we are at the boat at the moment. We've actually got accommodation. We're staying off the boat for the next month because it's super hot and we just thought it'd be way easier to not be working and living in the same space because we know we've done it before and it's, it's pretty hard to do it. So we just wanted to make it easy on ourselves pretty much and have a nicer experience because we are going to be out for a little while. So. We are on the boat today. Officially, boat work hasn't started, but he did. Lee has started um, drilling or like opening up some tiny little pimples. He'll explain more. We're just gonna uh, wet rub the hull, and then pretty much we've got to get a little bit of a list together, and we're gonna go across the border and um, get some goodies for the boat, and sort of work out what we need over the next couple of days. Uh, the boat does have a few little blisters. Uh, they're only little pimples like Sarah was saying. I've just opened a couple up. Uh, we'll let them dry out, but I'll investigate further um, and hopefully they don't get too big. If you've ever seen any um, cancer on fiberglass before, it can uh, get quite large, the holes, but I think we're gonna be right. I think it's actually between the fiberglass and the gel coat. I don't think it's really gone into the um, mat, so we'll see, time will tell. But, uh, there's lots to do and like Sarah said, we're just making a start, cleaning the boat and just sort of getting into the swing of it. Get into a bit of a routine or creating a bit of a routine so that we don't get overwhelmed with projects, hey babe? 
Yeah, no one gets overwhelmed here. <laughs> We're trying to make it um, as smooth a process as possible. None of us want to be here doing what we're doing, but it has to be done. So we are going to get into it so we can get back out in the water as soon as possible. But it is hurricane season. There was in a gnarly storm last night, lightning, the loudest thunder. Like we were inside, we were in a Airbnb, but there was some really big cracks of thunder and some lightning and um, yeah. We left our hatch open, our bed got wet. We did leave hatches open because we hadn't seen rain here yet. We haven't seen rain for months. So it took us a little bit by surprise. That's about it. We move into our Airbnb that we're going to be in for a month tomorrow. It's getting real. I'm trying to catch up on videos, but I'll be back and forth to the boat. I gotta, She's you know. got to sit in the aircon and do video work while we scrub the boat and clean, do all the hard work. That's all right. Someone's going to do it. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to see any of it. So I'll be filming helping and doing videos but we're going to try and tackle this one project at a time and um, we're going to share it all because we know how much you all love boat work there's people where like the videos right now are in some incredible places and people are like i can't wait to haul out and do some boat work <laughs> i'm like i can <laughs> anyway here we are we're hauled out so all those boat work geeks get get excited because it's all about to start. It's all happening, and we're not out of the slings yet. I think we are we're just about to. They're yeah. going to uh, release probably in the next half an hour. Yeah, and, so we're still um, hooked up to the big machine that we got hauled out on, which is yeah. pretty funny. So we haven't got power hooked up to the boat. We haven't been in a rush too, so it's not a problem for us. All right, so it does look like we're staying here. The machine is gone. hauling our friends boat out today so that's what they're getting ready for I assume. Jeez, it's a tight squeeze between our boats. Oh first bit of boat work. Smelly boo going Are you down. In a hose? No. Alright guys so if you know anything about boats they all have their problems and fiberglass this is one of them. It's called osmosis. They've just opened them up, they're really little pimples. They weren't even pimples they were just like little dots that were pushing out moisture. So I've opened them up. There's just a handful. This is probably the worst of it here. Um, and there's a couple of odd ones around the boat. Not too bad. The hull's pretty good. I haven't started on the keel yet. Uh, as you know, we haven't sailed with the um, board down. Um, we haven't really sailed upwind with this. So we haven't really needed the board. But uh, that'll be one of the jobs also. We got our bikes out, so we've been getting around town. You know what, I you could probably... Yeah, I guess what? He's got one side, you got one side, so... Even. Whoever gets to that end, whoever gets to the end of the boat first gets a hundred dollar do whatever you want voucher. Alright, we're giving the kids some incentive. They are wet sanding the um, anti old anti bow off the boat at the moment. And we've just told them that whoever finishes, they both get a side each. Whoever finishes first gets a hundred bucks to do with whatever they want. I'm on a lunch break. How's it going? Not really good. So I just made some lunch with all some of the final ingredients. We're just cleaning out the boat of our food. We were getting pretty low, but I managed to make this fish like so. We had a bit of mahi in the freezer, so we just added that. All right, this is after day one. I'd say the oh maybe a bit under a third a quarter maybe away a quarter of the way and this side so what ended up happening was the sandpaper wasn't really cutting it so lee got a paint stripper scraper tool and so he's been doing that and helping them out so i don't know how we're going to work out this who wins <laughs> but you're getting there day one anyway we're going back to the Airbnb. the boat 
out to this place and that's what we're doing. We just come back to the boat. We haven't done any work on the boat today. It's been a lot of moving and shuffling and working things out. So we are at the boat. We're going to grab all of our clothes and all of the things that we can wash. It's going to take as much as we can today because we've only got the car for today. Well, at this stage, we are not doing as much work as we thought. We were initially coming in here to build a hard top. We had a sponsorship fall through, so we are no longer doing a hard top and we are no longer varnishing the entire inside so far. Oh, well, we'll see. Fun. See how we go. So far, we're going to do replace all of the through holes and the valves and the skin fittings and then do the bottom paint and hopefully maybe touch on some rigging. These are the thoughts that are going through our brains at the moment, but we, we've really got to just focus on the bottom. We are able to have a place, which is fantastic because it's so hot. So we can have a, somewhere where we can do all the work and then we can go and get a relief <laughs> at the end of the day. Not living on the boat, which is a big, big bonus for us. We've never done it that way. We've always lived on the boat at the same time and it's just so hectic and hard and we're just trying to make this um, haul out a lot easier. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So we're doing right now. Well, the last few days have been hectic and I don't know how much I've filmed, but we are now in an Airbnb um, that we're going to be here for the next 30 days. So we're here for a month. Yesterday we moved a lot of the stuff off of our boat, like all of our clothes and our sheets and some bigger items that we can keep in the house that we can, so we can kind of just go to town and organize Catalpa and get some jobs done without having stuff all in the way. Look at the view. Oh, it's lovely. Can you see out there? It's super hot outside, so this is like such a really good decision. We're back on the electric, fire car's gone, and uh, we just got a podcast to do today, and then I think the work will officially start. We've provisioned up, so we don't have to eat out every night. I'm gonna need to like buy one of those plastic suits. It hurts, it's so itchy. Here is Mr. Smurf himself. Are you itchy? I'd get that off your arm. Oh, this is not fun. We're torturing ourselves. It's like $1,500 to sandblast it all, but you know, trying to save a dollar. All right, it's a super slow process. The scrape is the best thing that's getting off at the moment. That's what Lee's using. We're just going to see what the orbital sander looks, how well it does. We continued to wet sand but felt like we were getting nowhere. But we persisted on. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time If you're thinking you were jealous of our life, well you might be thinking otherwise right now. This is what our life looks like at the moment. We're done at the boat yard for today and we are on our way home to our casa. I've been practicing my Spanish with one of the guys at the boat yard, it's super nice. Anyway, we've been practicing, so my Spanish is going to get better because it's so, it's, I've been doing an app, but it's easy to kind of, I can read it, some of it, I mean, I'm not great, but I can read it better than talking and it's really hard and our accent doesn't make it easy. <laughs>
tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call boatyard now let's get into some work i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you next week as we continue doing more boat work bye <laughs>